Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. Are there supplements that actually work to correct erectile dysfunction? And I want to refer to the ones that I know work, like Tribulus terrestris, Muira puama, Damiana, Avena sativa, Maca, and even the Epimedium herb. So, you know, erectile dysfunction um, is defined as a consistent inability to obtain or maintain a, an erection for satisfactory sexual relations. Then there's complete erectile dysfunction, which is the inability to have penetrative relations at any stage. So that's sort of complete impotence, if you will. How common is the problem? Well, by, about, by age 50, about 50% 50 of men have some degree of erectile dysfunction. And by age 60, about 75% of men have some degree of erectile dysfunction. Even if they're not completely impotent or they can't have penetrative relations, they've got some degree of erectile dysfunction that's a bit frustrating. So why does it happen? Well, you know, one of the reasons is that after the age of 40, there's a 1% decline in testosterone levels as we get older. So between age 40 and age 70, there's a 30% decline in testosterone. That certainly has an effect. And then also, you know, if your blood cholesterol or triglycerides are high or your blood sugar is high, you're going to clog your arteries up a lot faster. And that clogging up of the blood vessels decreases circulation and blood flow to the genitalia much harder to get an erection. So do everything you can from a lifestyle standpoint to keep your blood cholesterol below 150 milligrams per deciliter. Uh, that would be 3.9 millimoles per liter, depending upon, you know, what units they're using in the country that you live in. And diabetics are much more prone to uh, erectile dysfunction problems. They're, they have a greater propensity for their blood vessels to clog up with cholesterol, so you really have to keep your blood cholesterol down if you're diabetic. Alcohol actually makes problems worse. It increases erectile dysfunction problems. And there's psychosocial factors, of course. You know, relationship problems, lack of attraction to your mate. Just the stress of life can wear you out and get your mind more preoccupied with other things. Stress hormones are rising and that can decrease your ability to perform as well. And enlarge prostate problems. As the prostate enlarges, if you allow that to happen, you don't take the right precautions, then that can be a problem. And also in the aging process, there's a, uh, some of the nerve receptors in the glands of the penis die off, so there's fewer nerves that can be stimulated to actually produce arousal. And so because there's less uh, mechanoreceptors there, it takes a little more stimulation to get things aroused usually. And there are also many drugs, prescription drugs, and some over-the-counter drugs that are linked to erectile dysfunction. But what I want to talk to you about are, are, you know, how you treat it. Well, medically, you know, they give, a lot of men will take, you know, Viagra, Cialis, Levitra. And what it does is it, there's a chemical in the blood vessel wall called cyclic GMP. And those drugs may stop the breakdown of cyclic GMP, which would help, helps to improve vasodilation, more blood will, the blood vessels will stay open longer so you can have more engorgement and, a, and an erection. So that's how Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra are working. The problem is that they tend to open up blood vessels right through, not just in the genitalia, but right across the entire body to some degree. And so all of a sudden, if all the blood vessels dilate like that, the blood pressure can drop precipitously and the heart can start to struggle and go into fibrillation and you can have a sudden death heart attack. So it's a, there was a study done called the Cedar sinai Hospital Study where they looked at the post-marketing surveillance of men using Viagra where there were some cardiovascular events. They looked at over 1,400 adverse events where there were cardiovascular complications from the use of Viagra and they saw that, you know, it wasn't that unlikely for a man to have a vascular complication. Sometimes it was sudden death and sometimes it, it occurred the first time a person used a drug. So that was published, if you want to read more, that was published in the journal of the American College of Cardiology in February of 2000. So, you know, I have some concern about drugs like that, Viagra, Cialis, Levitra. The other way of treating it that medical doctors use is with testosterone replacement therapy. My concern here is that if you happen to have some prostate cancer already in your prostate gland that hasn't been detected yet, as many men do after the age of 50, a lot of men have some prostate cancer cells that are just lying there dormant, may never bother the man. But you put testosterone on there. It's like putting fertilizer on those cells. Now they're likely going to start to divide, and there's probably a greater risk that prostate cancer might result. Certainly, there's concern about it. So I don't think that's, those are the first things that you do. What's highly underappreciated is that there are natural agents that have been proven in clinical studies 
to improve erectile function and reverse erectile dysfunction, improve sexual performance that men can utilize. So where are those herbs? The, the, one, the ones that work best are tribulus terrestris, also known as puncture vine. It increases nitric oxide in the genitalia uh, blood vessels that dilates the blood vessels, a better uh, uh, erection occurs, and it's firmer, it's longer lasting, and it helps to solve the problem often. Uh, in Brazil, they use Muira Puama, another herbal-based, uh, it's an aphrodisiac and a nerve stimulant. In the British uh, pharmacopoeia, it's listed as a, as a treatment for impotence. So even in sort of traditional medical treatment, Muira Puama has sort of stood the test of time. And studies at the Institute of Sexology in France have shown its value in improving libido and frequency of intercourse and the correction of erectile dysfunction. Then there's a vena sativa, which increases the tactile sensation around the genitalia, so yeah, there's more pleasurable sensations. In, in a recent study, 22% of men uh, reported improved sexual stimulation ability, increased sensation around the genitalia. And even in women, 15% improved greater sensitivity, and 29% uh, of them uh, reported incre uh, in uh, improved frequency of reaching orgasm and frequency of orgasm. So even women can benefit from these supplements. And then there's maca root, which has been used for a long time uh, as a sort of a, a, an aphrodisiac, increasing sexual de desire and ability. And the herb known as epimedium, also called horny goatweed, which seems to increase neurotransmitters in the brain, particularly dopamine. Dopamine is sort of the sexual neurotransmitter, that it, when the brain has more dopamine, there tends to be easier arousal, greater libido, better sexual performance. And then, of course, Damiana, which increases the, the sensitivity of the genital area so that you can, more sensations can reach the central nervous system in the brain, so you can increase genital sensitivity. So when you put all, you have, don't take these herbs separately. You can find formulations where they're all together, sort of in one capsule at the right dosage. And the synergistic effect is that they're going to increase blood flow to the genitalia. Well, that's how you get an erection. Increasing sensitivity, that's how you sustain an erection and get the arousal going in the first place. And also, for, by affecting neurotransmitters, increasing libido and sexual desire as well. So it's sort of a three-in-one benefit. And I will tell you that those same herbs also help women in terms of, of uh, correcting low libido and also having an easier time reaching orgasm. So it's not just for men. Clinical studies have shown not only the efficacy, but also the safety of those particular herbs. Now, there are some herbal agents or supplements that are actually dangerous, in my view, and you should be avoiding those. Even though they can help, there's some risk factors. So I've explained how all of this works and the right dosage and all this stuff in the, the e-book that I created that's available right here. It's called Effective Natural Remedies for Sexual Performance and Libido, a Guide for Men and Women. And, I, and you know, I think as the years go by, this is worthwhile uh, learning about because it affects your quality of life, to be quite honest with you. So you should really download that ebook right now. Now re remember that at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review papers, you'll see other videos I've created, footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and resources I've put together that will help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All the research papers and teaching materials I have have all the scientific references in them, including the downloads that will show you that we're getting, I'm using only evidence-based scientific information as I report on different health and wellness subjects. So you really should make machinohealth.com an ongoing reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.